with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Got a cloudy and chilly day ahead of us. Yesterday we had so much sunshine. That sun helped us reach 50 degrees today. Without the sun, it's going to be a little bit colder. Some cooler air has settled into the area. Uh, not as windy, though, as it was on Thursday, though. I look for temperatures to reach maybe upper 30s, low 40s. Again, about 10 degrees colder than they were on Thursday. Here's the current scene from our Lewiston Auto Live cameras across uh, much of the area. Uh, mainly gray picture. Uh, clouds have taken over in the overnight hours. In fact, last evening we had a couple of sprinkles uh, here in Rochester, but uh, we're looking at mainly a dry day with kind of a chilly breeze, but not a particularly powerful gusty wind at least. Uh, yesterday we had a high of 50 degrees. A lot of sunshine kept us in the 40s and low 50s all afternoon. But then we had the uh, temperatures drop into the 30s and that's where we've been all night long. Gray skies right now on the future track satellite radar. Pretty quiet day. A very uh, typical November day in many ways. These temperatures on the chilly end of the scale with a lot of clouds around but you kind of think of November as a month that does feature a fair amount of clouds. But this is probably the grayest of the next several days and certainly the coldest. Probably the only time this week will be colder than the seasonal average. That would be the mid 40s, but we're going to stay in mainly in the upper 30s uh, later today. But 33 is where we start the day in Rochester, 34 in Dodge Center, 36 in Charles City. Uh, on our way to, uh, again, the upper 30s later on. It does feel like 25 right now. Winds 10 miles per hour for the northwest, 33 here in the Med City. 32 uh, for that morning commute, so maybe dropping into the degree or so over the next couple of hours, but hovering in those low 30s, a cool breeze and a uh, quiet commute, otherwise mainly gray with maybe a few breaks of sun, maybe later in the day. Then tomorrow, uh, a stray shower, maybe a sprinkle in the afternoon. That'll be the only chance of any kind of precipitation we have, at least for the next week. Then beyond that, breezy and progressively warmer weather. 40s tomorrow, then 50s on Sunday, and see where we're headed with that warming trend uh, right through all of next week. But gray skies today. Future track, we'll look at the computer modeling. Uh, gray skies, maybe a peek at the sun in the afternoon. And certainly, there'll be some clearing later today toward the evening hours, maybe even after sunset. Temperatures tonight dropping from the 30s this afternoon into the 20s with a light breeze. And tomorrow, clouds fill back in. We may see some sun at first tomorrow, but a breezy gray afternoon and maybe even a couple of spotty showers or sprinkles in parts of the area. Things will clear off late tomorrow night. A windier, sunnier Sunday as a warm front moves through temperatures on Sunday in the 50s. Rain chances very much low end of the scale on Saturday. Very sparse sprinkles or light showers from 2 until about 9. Best chance around 6 or 7 tomorrow evening. And temperatures today go upper 30s, dropping to the 20s tonight. And a quick shot of warmth. Uh, even with just limited sun tomorrow, the southeast winds uh, working their magic and we'll have some gusty warm days ahead of us. So look at the winds each day on the gusty side at times more than 30 miles per hour. That ridge really building in next week upper level pattern allowing some big time warmth in the area. Temperatures this weekend 40s tomorrow, mid and upper 50s on Sunday with a uh, gusty southwest breeze uh, on Sunday. A temperature tracker. We go from 30s to 40s to 50s, and if that's not enough, how about some 60s, at least a shot at 60 next Wednesday, and uh, some milder days all the way until next Friday before we cool off. 39 today, mostly cloudy northwest winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight's dropping to 26, a diminishing breeze. In the seven-day forecast, we have uh, some sprinkles tomorrow, and then big warm-up uh, for Sunday. All of next week, hard to imagine these numbers. <laughs> That we're, that we're facing. Uh, these yeah. are looking incredibly warm for November. I almost forget it's November because this will be the warmest week <laughs> of the month, third week of the month.